Good morning, everyone. This is Melanie with Lightbeam's Treasure, and this is the Weekend Update Edition. It's now Monday, October 26th. This month went really, really fast. In fact, it went way too fast. Um, weekend was interesting, <laughs> let's say the least. First off, I want to give a special shout out to Vintage Conversation. Love that name. She helped me, or he helped, no, it would be a shake. I hope it's a shake. <laughs> he helped me identify what these babies were. In my last video, I posted a question because I couldn't figure out what emblem that was, and she found it for me, so I have to thank her. These are Charming Charlie Vintage Necklaces. So at least that gives me a basis on what type of necklaces these are. All I have to do is fix this one. This one I was able to fix without a problem. I just need to add a couple more rings to this and I could sell those babies. So I'm very happy. So thank you so much Vintage Conversation and thank you for watching my videos and answering. I mean, that's what makes it great at that other people, other resellers, they can um, import their knowledge on each other and help another reseller. I mean, I can't tell you how many times people have questioned me and I've gave them answers. It's so nice when I could get answers in return. So thank you so much. Now, as far as this weekend, um, I have to wrap everything up right now. It was a pretty good weekend. Um, the first thing I did was I went to five estate sales, one of which was amazing. Every This was that big... 18 day garage sale, um, estate sale. They had it for the last 18 days straight. I've already been to it about six times already. So the last day, which was Saturday, their rule was anything and everything, a dollar or less. Even if it says $50, $100, $1 or less. So the downside of it was, like I said, it rained the night before, but I got some amazing stuff. In addition to that, I got not one, but two leftover garage sale stuff, which I already started sorting. I sorted the clothing already. So the clothing is done. I already bagged it up. It's going to thread up. The rest of the clothing I'm probably going to introduce to a couple of online sales because thread up does not take men's clothing. So I have a bunch of men's clothing to do. Um, threw out a lot of stuff on the curb and put a curb alert. So if anybody wanted anything for free, just take it problem is, guess what? It rained last night. So this morning I just took the extra leftovers that were now soaking wet and just threw it in the garbage. The garbage is going out this morning. And then what else? I do have an auction today with NASCAR man. I'm going to jump in on his show, hopefully sell a couple of things. But let's talk about what sold over the weekend. Now bear in mind, this is combining Saturday and Sunday because I didn't do a video yesterday. Yesterday I was too preoccupied with cleaning and sorting and going through gar garage sale stuff, which surprisingly did a very good job. I'm, I'm proud of myself. I have a long way to go, but I did get a lot accomplished, so I'm happy. So the first thing we sold, I sold two Macari items. Very happy. Look at this. This is a Honeywell humidity, indoor humidity and temperature monitor. Sold this for $12. Not bad. Nice little, that was thrown in a cart. So then I sold this three pack of silky pantyhose. Now, normally these are $7 a pack. So technically, I should have got $21. Nope, I got $13. I'm happy because I got a whole bunch of these thrown in a cart. And I almost feel like pantyhose are out of style. I mean, don't people wear pantyhose? It used to be a requirement when I was in the corporate world that if you wore a dress, you were not allowed to have bare legs. Now I think nobody cares if it's bare legs anymore. But I have a whole bunch of pantyhose, so if anybody's interested, I have all sizes, size A, size B, size C, size D, yes. And they're all um, these type. Um, they're black or nude or other colors as well. So those sold for $12. So I made $25 on Macari. Not bad. It's something. Hey, little something at a time. I'm happy. Then the next thing I sold, now we're going to jump to eBay. I sold, oh, 
this big book. The Bone, what is it? Jim Bones, Texas, Images of Landscape. It is an ex-library book, but it's all beautiful photographs of the Texas landscape. So, that's a big book. Sold this baby for $15. Oh, and you know what I love about books? You know my rule with books. Freebie book. Freebie book. Instant profit. Sometimes it takes a while to sell. But, hey, I get them for free, and then I just sell them. Next thing I sold, not one case. I sold two cases of ugly dolls. Now, I took a best offer simply because they bought two of them. And it's not that bad for me. But they got $30. So all of these for $30. Not bad. I'm actually really happy because I've got like two more cases of these to get rid of. So these make excellent stocking stuffers. These make great like store end cap displays. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm a store and I'm saying, hey, I'm selling these off. But yes, they do make and it's, it comes in its own little... um case to begin with. And like I said, it, they're little stocking stuffers. Great deal, great price. This person's going to be happy. So I made $30 off of all of this. Then guess what? We jumped to movies. I sold movies. You know, I always sell movies. All right. So let's see what we sold. We sold Heartless. Heartless was sold for $7. Then we have Double Suicide. And yes, it is a Criterion Collection. We spoke about Criterion Collections. Always look for those movies. This one sold for $12.75. Then we have Alphaville. And guess what? Alpha is another Criterion Collection. This one sold for $12.75. Now bear in mind, if I actually had the covers and everything. I would be making double the amount of these, but that's okay. Then we have my one of my favorites, The Human Centipede. This one sold for $13.59. We have Nothing But a Man Special Edition. This is a very good movie, and these are movies, unfortunately, during this time to keep an eye out. Anything that talks about interracial relationships, racism, anything like that is a big sell. This was a 1964 movie, controversial because it was the love between interracial couples. So, and Stevie Wonder just did the music, the miracles, the Marvelettes, and so much more. So nothing but a man. This one sold for $16.99. Nice. I also sold Pack of Lies, which sold for $15.30. And I sold a movie called Here. That sold for $7. I also sold another movie, and I'm having trouble finding it. But I'm thinking I'm going to spend all day today ripping apart everything, see if I can find that movie. But I sold Man Ron's uh, Gateway to Hell. That sold for $8. So, my grand total, you ready for this? $93.38 in movies, $93.38 in movies, $45 in stuffy stuff, $25 on Macari. So that was for two day total, $163.38, which means. I did not make my goal. That's okay. Um, today, like I said, I've got my auction that I'm going to be doing with NASCAR Man. Tomorrow, I've got the auction I'm going to be doing with Flippin' Frozen. And Wednesday, i got the auction I'm going to be doing with Paul and Tonelli. So, I'm going to be auctioned. And then Friday, ugh, I'm crazy. I'm throwing a Halloween party. Yes, I'm inviting some friends. We're having a Halloween party. Got to figure out what I'm going to do about that. So I have a lot to do as far as cleaning, sorting, getting the house together, having a party together, getting the food together, and I'm going crazy. <laughs> oh, and an update. I still have not slept. Yesterday, okay, yesterday I woke up seven times last night. Seven times. I'm not getting sleep. It is. It's, 
It's taken the toll on me, which is amazing because once I'm up, I take my shower, I took my shower, got dressed, and now I'm ready to work. But I'm still not getting sleep. That is a problem. In fact, now my family's telling me go to the doctor because now it's getting serious that I am not sleeping. <laughs> Eventually, I will sleep. Yeah, they're saying that, they're, that my eyes, you can see it in my eyes. You can see it in my attitude. You can see it in the fact that I'm not um, necessarily concentrating as well as I used to. I did. I washed the dishes yesterday. You ready for this? I broke seven dishes. Not on purpose. I broke them because I like wasn't concentrated. They would either slip out of my hand or I would put them down and they would knock over. But seven dishes. Ugh. And then I broke one this morning too, but that's another story. <laughs> okay. That's just me. I wash dishes and I break them. Oh, well. So, everyone, this is Melanie with Lightbeam's Treasure. You're probably wondering what happened to Treasure. Treasure is now over at the house trying to make friends with the other two kitties. They do not like her at all. They don't attack her or anything, but they keep hissing at her. And it's so cute because she tries to make friends with them. She runs up to them to play with them and pounce with them, and then they do that. I think she just falls over and does her submissive um, position to try to realize, don't hurt me, don't hurt me. But I think eventually they'll they'll warm up to her, eventually. But um, she's loving the house. Oh, and she's loving the bed, because every night she's sleeping with me, so that's wonderful. My husband said that if she doesn't stop biting him, because she sleeps on me, but then in the middle of the night she keeps attacking his feet. <laughs> so he's like, if, if she doesn't stop biting me, I'm locking her out of the room. I'm like, my baby. <laughs> anyway, all right. So I have work to wrap up because I'm running out of time. I got all this to wrap up and I got an auction to do. So with that, everyone, have a great day. Good luck. This is Melanie with the Instructions.